good morning. Today I'll be felting a nativity scene ornament. Before I begin, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook at The Hobby Bird and Robin's Cozy Creations. I'll put the links in the description below. And hit that bell icon and you'll get a notification when I post a new video. In this case, we're going to start with the disc or the base, basically. So we're going to use this gray wool. And because it's fairly flat, we're going to use the pad a bit. So we're going to take this down and then we're just going to start felting inwards. So we're going to fold in and felt. Fold in. And just continue with that until we get the shape we want and then we can felt it, and tighten it up and felt it down. Today I am using a 38 gauge twisted star needle. It's supposed to help you felt faster. So we'll see if that works. And I get my needles from Heidi or Heidi. In Norway we say Heidi, but it's possibly HeidiFeathers.com and I will place her link in, in the description. She has very good quality needles and they're all color, color coded. So this is the Twisted Star. And on standby here, I have my 38 gauge, uh, 36 gauge and 40 gauge triangle, also from Heidi Feathers. I often get questions about my wool too, where I purchase it. Uh, like I said, I live in Norway. Um, so I order all of my wool from a company called Hillesvog uh, Ulfabrik Wool Company. Uh, they're on the west coast of Norway, outside of Bergen. And they have uh, carded bats and merino and they have, yeah, they have basically what you need for for felting and even knitting. Uh, and they color all of their wools. They dye everything there themselves. Uh, very, very good quality product. So if you're in Norway, I recommend them. I'll put the link to their website also in the description. I'm liking the uh, the twisted star. It uh, I don't I can't say that it felt any faster than the than than the 36 to kind of bring it together. The, but the 36 is coarser. This one here gives it a more even finish. But uh, it's a good little needle. I like it. pretty good so we can start decorating now uh, it can be a good idea to put a needle at the top here so that you know what your center point is Here. Come on. 
then we're going to put the other one just a little higher. start with hair put a little baby in between here. We're just going to swaddle him here. find that the nativity is very symbolic for me when it comes to Christmas and not only because of being Christian but for me it's this kind of the sense of family uh, so it's very symbolic in the sense that when you look at it for me I think of family and and when I think of Christmas I think of family so it's, it's kind of a double double meaning. Okay. And now we're going to create this heart effect around them. Just take a little more of the white. here you can do gradually so just take a little bit to start with and then you can build on it so I'm going to just tack it here at the top of the hair Good start just to get the general shape and we can build on it after. Okay, the same thing for Joseph over here. We're just wrapping this family up in love here. see the basic shape I'm just going to build on this a little more so it's more defined and then we're just going to add a little color to add a little warmth to it We're just going to bring a little yellow in. It's the Holy Family, so you know, 
they're glowing a little bit. We need to, to just bring in a little warmth here. So just really, really fine fibers, just to, just to add a little contrast. So that's done, and then you've got this huge expanse on the back. Now you can write Merry Christmas, or here would be Gouyul, or you could uh, put a text like uh, Joy to the World, or Away in a Manger, or I mean, you have lots of options here, but I just like to put a Christmas star on the back. And for that, I use white and yellow. So, Again, I have to put that needle back in at the top center so that it is centered from there. And I'm actually even going to put a needle on the bottom too so that it is perfectly symmetrical. See? Okay. And I will do the same on either side. Like so, you see that? that looks about right. And then I can just work on it without having to think about what it's going to look like on the other side. So we'll start with the yellow. Strand. to felt it down totally just kind of get it into place and you can remove these because they're a little awkward to work with and then we're going to do the same but on here i'm not going to go straight across here i'm going to, i'm going to go from here so that it's a little almost like a cross so that it dips further down on the bottom take some more yellow okay I'm going to go just above these two here. There. Take these out. And then just felt these parts into place. strands and we're just going to place in between here
So here's the finished product, front and back. A little Christmas love. Hope you liked my tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.